A martyr is defined as a person who is killed because of their beliefs. Female martyrs have been a part of history since the days of ancient Rome. Now, a new face in the fight against government and Democrats. The person that shot Ashley Babbitt, boom, right through the head, just boom. There was no reason for that. Former President Donald Trump got some of the details wrong when he recently spoke about Ashley Babbitt's death. The coroner says Babbitt was shot in the left shoulder, not the head, by a U.S. Capitol Police officer as she tried to climb through a window to the Speaker's lobby while Capitol Police evacuated senators not far away. Babbitt was an Air Force veteran and follower of QAnon who, along with thousands of other supporters of former President Trump, stormed the U.S. Capitol to try and stop the Senate from certifying the electoral victory of President Biden. And now, more than six months later, extremism experts say former President Trump and others on the far right are turning her death into a political rallying cry. Babbitt portrayed as a martyr who died for the cause. But what's important to highlight here is that the glorification of Ashley Babbitt and her death is not actually about her, it's about the narrative. The Anti-Defamation League in New York told us anti-government extremists are depicting Babbitt as a patriot fighting against government tyranny, wrongfully executed by government agents. Meanwhile, the ADL says white supremacists are also trying to capitalize on her story to stoke fears of a so-called white genocide, claiming Babbitt, a white woman, was killed by a black police officer. U.S. Capitol Police have not released any information about the officer, including their race. Still, President Trump and others are pouncing, claiming Babbitt's shooting is being treated differently by Capitol Police and by the media than if it were a white officer who had shot a black suspect. And why isn't that person being opened up? And why isn't that being studied? They've already written it off. They said that case is closed. If that were the opposite, that case would be going on for years and years. The Department of Justice cleared the officer of wrongdoing. We spoke to the Prince George's County attorney representing the Babbitts back in May. There was no need to shoot her. It's a simple situation where all it would take would any rookie police officer with a set of handcuffs could have taken her into custody. Arizona Congressman Paul Gosser has recently added his voice, calling for the release of the officer's name on the six-month anniversary of the Capitol riots in a statement titled, Who Killed Ashley Babbitt? An expert at American University told us in the end, all of this is just a way to downplay what happened on January 6th. By turning her into a hero, uh, it helps to justify uh, what was an unjustifiable action. Thank you.